everybody. Um, welcome to the Rehaul Tour Live. My name is Jasmine. I'm the new CRE for the building. Um, out practicing good social distancing. Absolutely, with your COVID mask. With my mask. Um, so if you can hopefully tell through my eyes that I'm smiling the entire time, that I'm so excited to be here with you all. Um, so where we're starting out is um, in this area where you, uh, one of the ways you can enter Reed Hall. Um, it's facing campus. Um, and what you can see when you come out this way is a beautiful view of the stadium. Um, over to our right is the nursing hall. Um, for all of the nursing majors, you're right there, um, accessible to classes. Um, and over to the left, it's going to be our Fulbright dining hall in the quad. So you have a lot of accessibility to some fun stuff and good resources when you come out this way as Sure, right there in Morgan Morgan Hall, right there as part of the Quad neighborhood. And then there's also a Club Red around here, too. Do you know about that? Um, there's one over in the Maple Hill South, just yes, right there. Yes, for dining purposes. Yeah, And you can get food there and other different things. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Well, cool. Well, um, shall we head inside? Yes, let's go. We have about 18 people watching right now, and please let us know where you're watching from. We want to be sure we say hello and get to know you before you arrive here in uh, the fall. So like I said, this is um, one of the two main ways to get into Reed Hall. And for security purposes, on the second door, there's fob access. So the only way that you can get into the building is if your fob works to grant you access to this building. Thank you for opening the door for me. No problem. <laughs> so we'll start um, right here at the main desk. Um, so for anybody who is familiar with Weed Hall, um, the desk schedule is changing a little bit this semester. Um, so we no longer have 24 hour desk. Um, it's gonna change from uh, throughout the week. The latest it'll stay open is on the weekend till 12 a.m. Um, but that's still for you to pick up packages. You can still have accessibility to pick up at four and it has extended um, pickup hours till 8 p.m. Um, and so, this is where you'll get all of your packages. This is where you'll come to have access to our hall admin who will be able to help you with any um, check-ins, check-outs for any reason. Um, this is where you'll come to, um, if you need to get something fixed in your room, you can press work orders down here and you'll just have overall resources and accesses to our desk staff and our RA staff, so. And I guess if you were to misplace your key or something, this might be a place. Out, this is where you can come get, if you for any reason left your key at home over the weekend, you could come get a temporary key down here. So this is just where you come to, like for a lot of resources in the building. Great. Hey, do you mind saying hello to Abby from Houston and Lily from Overland? Hi, Abby from Houston. I am originally from Texas, so. <laughs> so you know Houston pretty well. Yes, yeah. definitely. Um, so that is the desk. Mm -hmm. So we'll head this way over to um, some of our common spaces yeah. so you can see like what the building has to offer. Um, right here through to my right is going to be the elevator access to where you can, um, this is the only elevators in the building, so this is the only way you have access to your room other than the stairwells. Um, this is the primary means of getting up and down. Um, right here next to this is going to be where we have our recycling um, bins for plastic, paper, um, even cardboard, um, and aluminum cans. So okay. if you are the recycling type, this is where you'll come do that. Great. And yeah, we said Lily from Overland and then Bianca from Fort Worth, Texas. As well. Hello, hello. <laughs> um, so next, we're going to go into our blue room. Um, which is named for obvious reasons. <laughs> um, this is going to be our space where you can come to study. Um, and back towards the back of the room, there's two separate spaces to where you can lock the door, um, or not lock the door, I'm sorry, close the door, have access to the whiteboard. Um, but it's just a place for people to come and kind of get their study on. Um, there will be some signage put up for social distancing, so um, it won't be used for its full capacity this semester, but it will definitely still be open for people to come and use for study reasons. Nice. And uh, as far as the availability, do you just first come, first serve, or do you need to rent it? It will be first come, first serve, and just kind of like keep that social distancing and have an limited number of capacity. Great. Thank you. Yeah. So. All right. It is a warm day today. It is. It is. <laughs> we were just outside. It was pretty warm out there. Yes. Um, so sticking to downstairs, we're going to go over to, um, y'all don't know my directions for north, south, east, west, but you have to bear with me. Sure, sure. Um, 
I think we're headed east, maybe in that way, in that direction. East, just a little bit okay. past the um, the desk. Yes, we'll head over there to look at some other things in the hall. Um, for those of you who like to drink water and don't like to like waste plastic bottles, we have actually on our water fountain. You'll be able to fill up your water bottle. Drinking from it necessarily won't be it, um, but filling it up is a little bit more hands free. So it's in that alignment of like COVID um, process and protocol. So you'll be able to fill up your water bottle right there. So you won't be able to put your mouth on that thing, yeah. but you no. can drink your bottle. And drink it. Definitely. <laughs> um, and right here, we do have some vending options. Um, what this will look like throughout the semester, we're not sure yet, but um, if there is um, options in here, they'll be in, this is where you'll find them if they're gonna be filled or not. Yeah, and they are wireless payment. So if we are going to have vending, you yes. can do it wirelessly. Yes, which is a great because I leave my wallet in my office. <laughs> I'll talk. Um, over here to the left of the hallway, it's um, our smaller kitchenette um, where people can come and um, use the stove, the wash dishes in here. Um, this semester, we will not be um, renting out um, any kitchen equipment, but you are more than welcome to bring any pots, pans, cooking utensils that you would want to use. So the kitchens will still be open. We just won't give you those utilities to use in the kitchen. Um, but this is the smaller version. We'll get to the bigger version in a second. Okay, great. And right well, off of this... Thanks, Amanda, for that note. We'll try to speak up a little bit so you can hear us. Okay. This is our sunroom. <laughs> Um, again, one of those places where residents can come and study and hang out um, with some comfy couches. You have people come in here that are studying, uh, fall asleep on the couches, which is completely fine. But again, it's going to be one of those capacity limits um, for COVID reasons. Um, it's a little bit more chillaxed in here than in the blue room. There's a TV um, and like I said, just gathering spaces so students can come in here. Uh, you'll have your FOB access will have access to this room. So you'll be able to come into this space at any point in time. There's no limit, um, like it closes at any time. You'll have access to it 24 seven. I mean, it looks legit pretty comfortable. Yes, <laughs> and it feels great in here. <laughs> it is, it's cool, air conditioning, nice. <laughs> yes, so this is um, our sunroom. Known as the sunroom. Oh, it, mind if I introduce you real quick, Maddie, too? Uh, yeah, so I'm Maddie. Um, <laughs> I'm the CRE in Adohi. I'm just here to be an awesome dance mom and uh, hype up Reed because Reed is a really great place to live. And you get to be here with Jasmine, who is a wonderful human being. So. And you previously were here, is that right? Yeah, um, I was here for a couple of years, and I loved my experience here. I love the students. The RAs are great, and you're just going to have a wonderful time here. Thanks, Maddie. So Maddie has been my rock in this transition. <laughs> so she too is a great human being. Um, so straight to the back of Reed um, is a great, great asset that we have that unfortunately in the spring, in the fall and spring, we'll, we will not have access to. But just so you know what your building has and you can like say, ha ha, my, my building has this in your zone. Um, <laughs> it's definitely a gym. Uh -huh. um, Again, that FOB access, if you are a resident in Reed, you, your FOB will have access when the gym is back open. When the gym is back open. And the UREC will be open, so you can go work out there. But unfortunately, we have to close this gym for fall, at least, because of the risk of the uh, pandemic. So it has like your basic necessities, your treadmills, your ellipticals, um, a few weights and stuff like you showed before. Um, and definitely that mirror at set, if you want to like see yourself putting in that work, then you definitely have that uh, capability. Um, another good thing about our building is to the back of the room, you'll see that door with those stickers on it. That is where we house um, university police. So if we ever need something, we have first dibs on university police because they are housed n directly next to our building. Literally have the police station yes. right next to the hall. <laughs> Literally. So that security piece is doubled with us and it's great. Thanks. If you have any questions for us as we tour the hall, feel free to ask. We are, of course, going to be going up to some rooms shortly. 
Um, we passed this while ago, like what I spoke, to about, spoke to with the mail. Um, this is where all of your mailboxes will be. So whenever you come to pick up your mail, if you have any small items that are able to fit into your mailbox, you'll definitely have that code to get into your mailbox and pick it up yourself. Any bigger pieces you'll get from Hall Admin and we'll store them in our office, which we're about to pass right now. Great. We're going in a place that's only for staff right now. Yes. So, like you mentioned, this back here is strictly for staff. This is my office. Um, it will be open probably 90% of the time. Um, if I'm not in a meeting or anything, you're more than welcome to stop by my office if you have any questions, if you just want to chat. I am here as a resource to you as well, in addition to the RAs. Um, your, your sign says Jazz. Can we call you Jazz? Yes, definitely. We'll call you Jazz. <laughs> yes. Um, and then this is where most of your mail will be stored. If you want to check out any HDMI cords, if you want to, this is where you'll get that access down here as well. Um, but for the most part, if you don't have a meeting set up with me, this will be restricted to staff only. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, Meredith is not going to be with us this semester just for COVID purposes, but she d is a counselor in residence for anybody who wants to have counseling services. She will still be available for um, any virtual uh, meetings, but she won't be in-house with us this semester. And that's a good point that you're making. We do offer mental health services for our residents who live in the halls, and that's um, you know, covered within your student fees. It's not an additional cost for the most part yeah. to meet with someone if you're, you know, struggling through finals or struggling with this big transition that you're yeah, going through that first year. So. <laughs> yes. All right. so. Coming on the opposite side of the desk, um, we're going to get into some more social spaces. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it, but Reed has one of the best kitchens. <laughs> in the entire housing fleet of, of buildings. Mm -hmm. There we go. So this is the kitchen. Um, like I said before, all kitchen amenities will be open. We just won't check out any pots or pans, anything that gets touched by a lot of people or reused by everybody in the community. Um, but to come in here, have dinner, to cook, hang out, you're definitely more than welcome to do that. Um, the, the tables are kind of already spread out for the social distancing piece, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and even if you don't want to eat inside, we have the option for you to eat outside on the patio. A lot of shading. This we probably have some programs out here just because when you're outside it's a little bit better for COVID purposes, but um, you can definitely come out here whenever you want to. That's a big space. Yes. And it is gated, so you have to <laughs> okay. it is gated. yelled at, so we'll go inside. <laughs> so you do have those um, security purposes if you can't hear now. <laughs> like you have that option. So do people use the kitchen? Um, uh, of course, you've been here last year as well, but uh, a lot of use of the kitchen? I would think so. Mm -hmm. Just with um, um, our building has a high sorority um, Greek life uh, population, and I would think that with them constantly being on the go, maybe they miss a lot of the hours for dining, and so they have the ability to come down here and cook whenever they need to um, and don't have that restricted time on, like, when they could eat. Yeah, very nice. Very nice yeah. additional amenity there. Um, so with the refrigerator, um, you are able to leave your items, belongings in there, but there are some things that we ask you to do to kind of like make sure that it doesn't get thrown away when um, our cleaning staff comes through and cleans the kitchen. So this is for your benefit that you follow the rules like when you leave things in the refrigerator. Anna asks us a question. She says, do we need to bring our own pans? I thought I heard you say we could check them out. No, so you do need to bring your own pans because you won't be able to check them out. And that is a difference from every other year that yes. we've had. That is a purely COVID safety precaution yes. is because typically you can check them out from the front desk, right? Yes. yes, definitely. But, you know, things are changing. So just plan to like bring your own little set. Um, I don't think much will be required. Maybe one pan. Ask your parents, can you borrow them? <laughs> um, I think that should work. Okay, great. Um, 
Oh, yeah, this is a nice space. So this is another social space that we have. Um, this is our living room, basically, because it's set up a little bit more homey. It's a little bit more comfortable with the lighting. Um, this space, again, if you have fob access, which you will, um, you can come in here. You can watch movies. Um, you don't have to um, request anything. You could just come in here whenever you want to. Um, chill out again one of those maximum capacity things for social distancing but you will still have access to it great and i guess people watch shows here i would think yes, different definitely shows pretty popular. um i know maddie told me that their um staff watched the game of thrones down here game of thrones if you have not watched it please go watch it it's amazing <laughs> <laughs> um also in this space we have a restroom one of the only two restrooms where um the opposite sex can come because we are a female prominent um building where only females live in this hall that's one of the only two restrooms where males can use the restroom in our building good to know yeah what are we going to get to see next here on the first floor of reed We got oh, some maybe laundry, I'm thinking. Yes, laundry, yes. And yeah, there's a couple things in this direction, I think. This is the one of the two main entrances I talked about that has to have fob access to get into the building as well. Um, our parking lot is straight through this door, so. And like I said, there's only two restrooms in the entire building that allows males to use it. And this is also the second co-ed restroom that we have in the building. They're both on the first floor. Mm -hmm. Are males allowed on the floors above the first floor? Yes. Okay. Yes, they are. Um, one of the other things that is changing is that we are not allowing any overnight guests this semester. So that's a little different too. So. Good to point out. Yeah. This is our trash room. Um, it doesn't make sense right now, but it will when we get to a floor. Um, basically, this door, you have to fob out to throw away all of your trash. Right outside that door is our dumpsters. So you, can, you have one of two options. You can either come down here and take the trash out yourself, or we may have the option to use our chutes, which we'll show once we get on um, the upper floors. About how many residents are there in Reed? Do you have that? Like 459. Like it's That's a big one. Big yeah. community. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. So towards the back of this hallway is our laundry room and ice machine. Um, so um, laundry is free. You don't have to bring any quarters. You don't have to pay for it. It's all tied in. Um, and so you'll come down here and do your laundry. This is the only laundry room that we have in the building. Um, so with that being said, there is accessibility for you to, to download an app. Um, and that, that's skipping me right Laundry now. alert is what it's called. Laundry alert that would allow you to know what washers and dryers are open and keep a timer of when your wash and dryers are done. So that's a good way. Like seeing that it's the only one, we kind of give you the access to go back up to your room, know when things are done or when it's available. And um, Jazz Annabelle asks, will the trash chutes be open for use this fall? So we're going to start with them open, but um, if anything happens that, you know, things aren't being used properly, then we also have the option to close them, but we're definitely going to start with them open. Starting with them open, we'll see how things go. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to get to the fun part. We're going to go upstairs so y'all can see some rooms. Yay, we'll see some rooms. And there's about uh, 55 people watching right now. Hello, not everybody. To make, not to make you nervous, but... <laughs> it's fine. Um, so, yeah, again, just let us know where you're from. We always enjoy that. And uh, you said you're from the Dallas-Fort Worth area, right? Yes. Is that fair to say? Yes. Okay. And uh, when did you come here to uh, Fayetteville? So, I have been in Fayetteville for a little bit less than a month. Less than a month, brand new to the area. Yes. Anything that stands out to you so far? Um, the hills. It's very hilly. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're not used to walking, my Dallas people, Texas people, please get your crab muscles ready. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, there's definitely some hills that can uh, catch you if you're not ready for it. Yes, definitely. Okay. So what floor are we going up to? We are going to the ninth floor. Reed has nine floors, so we're going to the very tippy toppest floor um, to see some things that is unique to our hall. 
Right. Um, Laura, hello from Jonesboro. Glad to have you there on the east side of the state, northeast side. And Alexa from McKinney, Texas. And do you know McKinney? Yes. Okay, you know McKinney. All right. Yes, and then Elizabeth from Spring, Texas. And she actually will be on the ninth floor. So what? we're on your floor right yes. now. Whoa. If you, uh, Elizabeth, if you tell us your room, we might just dip in there for a second, okay? Yes, definitely. All right. So the floor after you come off of the elevators is split into two wings. Um, the halls run um, both back and forth. Again, my direction is not in. Um, the restrooms, which we are going to go into, there is a restroom on this side and a restroom on that side. So there's two um, shower and um, toilet options on both sides of the floor. So. Nine two one is where Elizabeth is, so we can. Uh, I was gonna go in that room just, anyway. <laughs> yeah, we can go around that area anyway. So this is uh, another social area um, for anybody to come watch TV, study, hang out. Again, those capacity pieces, making sure that we have social distancing. Um, and if for any reason anybody forgets, there will be signage to help you remember. <laughs> Great. You know, we have a couple people from McKinney, Texas. So that's that's awesome. Yes. Again, those water bottle stations. Yeah, we got Madden from McKinney, and then Anna from Kansas City, Missouri, on the eighth floor. Bianca on the fifth floor, and Michelle, uh, who from uh, oh, I, I've been told how to say this before. It's in Oklahoma, Owasso. Uh, Owasso. I have no idea. Owasso might be right Yeah, uh, her daughter will be on the ninth floor as well, so room nine oh eight. Oh yay! Okay. So this is our restroom shower area. Um, there's about anywhere from five to six showers um, on each side. So a total of 12 on the floor. You are not restricted to your side. So if any reason you want to take a shower and you're like, oh, the left side's full, you're more than welcome to go to the right side. Um, and we can just dip in here so you can see what it looks like. Um, we do have a question about the bathroom. Okay. Abby was asking how many showers are in each bathroom. There's two bathrooms on every floor. So. Yes, and there is five showers in each bathroom. So a total of 10 on the floor. So 10 on the floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the same goes for stalls. There's five stalls on each floor, or five stalls in each restroom area. Right. And we'll head into a little shower and just give you a view of what, what that's about. So there's like a little place for you to step out and get ready. And then there's actual like a shower section. And then there's a bigger shower over here too. Might as well show that. Might as well show that shower. Hey, there's the showers. You know, we have roommates talking too, so that's oh, great. Wow, thing. Uh, that's oh, so, nice. I love it. <laughs> um, in addition to the stalls, there's definitely sinks in here for you all to get ready if you just want to glance in there. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's the bathroom here in Reed. Oh, sure. And then what was the room we were going to go into again? Let's um, see. 921. 9, 921, that's right. So here we are. 921. 921, there we are. Okay. So um, the setup of this room is basic for all the rooms um, in the building. Um, it'll come equipped with beds, the um, bed posts, a desk, a chair, um, and built-in closets and built-in drawers. Um, they are split, so it is um, easy to differentiate whose side is what side. Um, and so this is the basis of what all of the floors look like. Yeah, you're right to point out the uh, the built-in furniture right there. Yeah, that's something that not everybody realizes. There's one, two, three, four ones, and two half ones. We did get a request to see it in room 908. Okay. Um, and let's go ahead and uh, 
We're gonna jump in 908 and then come back maybe and do some measurements. Okay. The did she pick this room on purpose because her view is beautiful. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is a good view. You got the stadium right there. Yes. Can we get that you think we can get that one yeah. open or we can take a look out there? Let's see. Okay. What a view. Yes, and this is the special thing that our floor, our building has that no other building can say that they have. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go look at a um, at an 08 room. That is to say, a corner or an in room, like that. We'll go on the other side. And then we do have a question from Anna about the length and width of drawers. And once we get back in there, we'll take a we'll look at that. We'll definitely measure it yeah. for you. I have heard that the Reed Hall is, the, is known for its interior decorating. So I hope you ladies are ready to meet that standard. And I'm so excited to see what y'all do with these spaces. There are some really creative designs, even I've seen and posted on like hashtag you are calm. And other hashtags, I've seen some really, really fantastic uh, setups. Actually, if you follow Reed Hall on Instagram, yeah. there is a highlight for room inspo, so you can see all the past designs of the room. So definitely look at that if you want any inspiration. Can you give us the um, handle for, for uh, the Reed Hall Instagram? It is U of A Reed Hall. U of A Reed Hall. Thank you. Like I said before, there's restrooms on both sides, so this is the uh, flipped restroom for the backward side. <laughs> I'm gonna learn my directions around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here on the left, I think, will be 908. There we are. This is 908. Let's head in and see, uh, see one of these rooms. So this setup is a little bit different. Again, it's still with the same thing, bed, headboard, dresser, chair, and built-in closet and drawers. And we can use this space to measure those things that were requested. Do you think the, uh, it's the same? For the drawers? Mm-hmm, yeah, okay. So the length, width, and depth of the vanity drawers Thirteen and a half. This one's gonna be eighteen and a quarter. Eighteen and a quarter. This is in inches. Mm -hmm. And then the depth is gonna be four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. Um, and then there's another style of drawer. There's one more down yeah. that has a different. It's going to be 29 and a quarter. 29 and a quarter. Eighteen in that dimension, and then I guess depth would be the remaining one. Yeah. Okay, eight inches deep. Okay, you know, a couple more questions come in, so we'll go ahead and start knocking those out one by one, and we'll figure out if they're the same here as they are in other rooms. Okay. First, what are the measurements for the bulletin board? And I, I feel like the bulletin boards in here are a little different They're than just the bulletin. Placed different. Okay, just, just horizontal placed. versus vertical. Yes, the placement is different. Do you think that's a measure we can get? That's a little bit harder to reach, maybe with a little help or friend or something. Phone a friend. Yeah, yeah, Scott, do you mind maybe helping her out with that? <laughs> Thanks, Scott. You got this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you and your and your longer arms. Appreciate it. Um, While he measures that, one thing I did forget is each room comes equipped with a cable box. So you, um, every resident will have access to cable. 24 or 36. 
24, 36? Okay. 24 inches by 36. And I guess in another room you would just flip those. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, Lisa asked, what is the width of the end room vanities? So the width of one of these vanities, I guess, is okay. what we want to get. Uh, 33 and 3 fourths. 33 and 3 fourths. And then the... at this point, it was just that one dimension. So, okay. um, Amanda asked, can you tell us the width of the closet okay. for a tension rod? Okay. So, and we do recommend tension rods are great. Forty-five and a half inches wide. Forty-five and three-fourths yeah. inches wide. Okay, dialed in a little precisely there. Yeah. Good job. Uh, Michelle asks, "Can you measure the window in 908?" That is a sizable window, so probably going to need a yeah. need a friend. Um, yeah, we'll probably want to give him all those dimensions. One hundred and thirty four inches. Sixty two inches. And then go ahead and get depth if you don't mind. Fourteen. Fourteen inches deep. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Right. What is the width of the desk chair opening? So we'll pull the desk chair out and we'll get that width in there. About 24 inches, 24 and a half. and a half inches that way. And Abby asks, what is the height of the closet from the bar to the floor? I can do these things. Okay, okay. Fifty-six inches. Okay. Makes me think of that uh, that game Twister, mm -hmm. where you had to like touch yeah. the different things sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see what else we're looking at here. Haley asks, "What are the measurements of the top shelf above the mirror in this particular room?" <laughs> <laughs> There is a small lip there, probably a half an inch lip. No, no, I'm sorry. There's probably a two inch lip. Uh, 20 inches from the base of the ceiling. 20 inches from the base of the ceiling with that two inch lip. Mm, about 23 and three fourths deep. 23 and three fourths deep. And what do you want from the, um, the length, I guess? The, Thirty inches, right there. Okay, and then Lisa asks, "What is the width of the slats between the bed posts?" Mm -hmm. The width of the slats between the bed posts. Yeah. Um, I would say we're probably talking about uh, the slats between. You know, I would give this maybe 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 we're talking about the. the okay. What's the difference between those two? 12 inches between those slats. And then uh, we'll go ahead and give them that one too. Uh, 37 3 fourths. 37 3 fourths. Um, Burke asked what room this is. This is room 908. We're in a uh, end room, I guess, is what we call this one. Okay. You know, um, we can move into... Why don't we go ahead and move into one of the regular rooms? I think a lot of these are... Regarding, yeah, any regular room will do. Because I think all the furniture dimensions are, are equivalent. I would believe so, yes. Yeah, okay, so now we're in room, let me see, what room we're in? 906. Room nine, 906, okay. All right, let's continue with these measurements. Um, 
Measurement of the shelves in the closet, the height and the width of the of the shelves in the closet. So. So the first one. Uh huh. Ten and seven eighths, almost eleven inches wide. Uh, high, sorry, high. And then, are you able to get that? Forty-five across. And then, Scott, do you mind getting the uh, the second shelf there for? Okay. And yes, we were, uh, Bianca, we were in room nine oh eight a moment ago. Moved into a more a more typical room now. Uh, 21 inches from the top shelf to the 20, 21 up there. 21. And I think she got that one already, so you're good on that one. You got depth, um, no, I don't think we got depth. Oh, yeah, got depth. Mm, about 16, inches. 16 inches deep. <laughs> okay, and these are great questions. Uh, Amy asks, can I see the depth of the main door entering the room? Yeah, so how thick is the door? I guess the thickness, basically. And if I'm not getting that measurement that you want, just let us know and we'll try. Uh, about two inches. The depth of the door. The depth of the door is 27 and a half. 27 and a half. Yeah, okay. Um... Abby asked, are these the same measurements in the other rooms? And we do think that all the measurements are similar across all the rooms. Um, uh, just the room itself is shaped differently. Uh, Amanda asked, will the same be the same in standard rooms? And we think, yes, yes. it will. Um, Madden asks, what are the measurements of a regular room window? So we, can, we might have that on the sheet. Now I think about it, if you want to refer to the sheet. So nine, go ahead, nine, nine, nine feet, feet six feet, inches, feet, mm -hmm. width, and then what was the length? The height is 57. 57 inches height, okay. And I guess something we should point out is that there is a space back behind here. Yeah. Okay, all right, one second. Um... Uh, Annabelle asks, are we allowed to remove the black chairs from the room? And the answer to that is, unfortunately, no. Uh, we need you to have all the furniture that you have now in at the end of the year. Yes, and they collapse. So um, if you want to use a different desk chair and keep that in here, you are more than welcome to collapse it and store it somewhere in the room. Good point to make. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, Amy asks, do I see the bars on the back of the main door? Is that standard in each room? And do we have bars on the back of the door? Yes. Yes, yeah, towel racks right there. Um, what is, Rachel asked, what is the first closet shelf clearance not including the upper shelf in the measurement? So what is the first closet shelf clearance not including the upper shelf? So I think it would be the entire thing without using the upper shelf. Um, well, I think it's, I think from the bottom of the first shelf, to the roof, or to the roof of it, I think. Scott, we may need to get you to yeah. give us that measurement. The entire thing. Yeah. That makes sense. Just top one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or just to the, the sixth shelf. Yes. Oh, no, like, from this shelf to the top. Oh, okay. There you go. Thank you, Jack. No problem. Mm -hmm. About 31 inches to the top. 31 inches, right there. Isabel asks, what is the width and depth of the vanity top? Okay. And we can get that. Not included in that part. No, no, just, okay. just right there. Uh, 23 and a half. What was that number? 62. 62 inches, okay, in that direction. 36 and a quarter. 
36 and a quarter. Okay. And then Tracy asks, can we get a full view of the window in the dimension? Sure, and I'll give you a full view of the window. And does that sheet we have have the window dimensions or just window ledge? It has the ledge and the dimensions. So the window with blinds is um, the window with blinds is nine feet six inches in width, um, and then the height is fifty seven inches, and then the ledge itself is nine feet nine inches by twelve inches by thirty seven inches. And Jazz is reading from the website. We do have those listed on the website. And they should be accurate. Um, Laureen asks, what is the width of the doorway? The width? Oh, I think we got this one earlier in, yeah. the, in the measurement. We did? Earlier. The width of the doorway? Okay. Okay, great. Well, let's just get, just in case, if you don't mind, I, I know we got a lot of them around that door. Twenty-seven and a half. Okay, and then um, Bianca asks, "What is the distance between the beds?" And it is movable furniture, so it doesn't have to be this way. But here's what it is right now. As of right now, it is thirty-five. Oh, it's actually the distance between the two beds. Oh, okay. So it'll be a group effort here. Okay, 90 inches right now between the two beds when they're both up against the wall, pretty much as far as they can go. Tracy asks, how wide is that space? And I think we're talking about um, that space we just covered. If not, let us know, Tracy. Uh, Anne asks, can you measure that space between the closet and the window? And I think that's the little cubby over there, yeah. I think that's about right. It's about 14 inches. 14 inches. And then can you give us, yeah. There's a plug back there too. There's a what? A plug. Oh, there's another plug back there. So more plugs. Um, 25. 25. Okay, good deal. Um, Nicole asks, can you measure the window ledge? And I feel like we did measure the window yeah, ledge. the ledge, right? it's on the thing. Yep. Okay. We've got the depth there. The ledge by length, length, width, and height, nine feet by nine inches, 12 inches, and 37 inches. You want more time, sorry? Yes. These measurements are by length, width, and height. So it's nine, nine feet by nine inches, 12 inches by 37 inches. Okay. Um, there you go, Nicole. And Rachel, she read online that the window height is 62. Can you confirm the window height? So let's run that measurement just to make sure. I think we said it was, the height, no, the, the height is, is it? Sixty two, uh, Rachel, that is the window height. Mm -hmm. um, is that what we have on that sheet? I think we do. Yeah. Um, Abby asks, are the outfit placements the same in each room? Um, I believe the outlet placements are in similar spaces in every room, yeah. For the hallway rooms, they are anyways. And I think they are for their the inner room, too. Okay. Yeah. Very similar. Um, easy to find, I'll say that. And more than you would expect. Mm -hmm. More than you would expect. Um, Amanda would like to see the desk chairs. So do you mind just pulling one out for us? becomes a gamer chair and you can sit on it like that in a rocker. Okay. Um, Nicole asks, could you please measure the window? And I think we've measured that window um, a couple times. 
Yeah. Um, how high will the beds loft? And I, this is the full lofting thing right here. So we can measure up at the highest pins. I would suggest stopping right here. Yeah, right about there. Mm -hmm. But they can go pretty high, but yeah. Fifty-eight and a half to the top pin. Although we recommend fifty-six to the suggested. How much? I'm sorry. Fifty-six to the suggested. Fifty-six to the suggested pin. Okay. Um, Michelle asked about lofting beds. What is the most popular height? You know, it depends on. It definitely depends on the person. Um, whatever you're comfortable rolling out onto. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, it's whatever you feel comfortable with. If you're okay with being up that high it's totally up to you if you want to be on the floor it's totally up to you it depends on the person yeah they have lots of different things we know a lot of people like to put um furniture underneath and that's certainly easy to do these desks might even mm -hmm. um, and you can get the beds lofted uh yourself with a rubber mallet that you bring mm -hmm. or you can submit a work request order with us through housing.uark.edu forward slash fix it mm -hmm. and that's where you can submit one okay um christina asks would you please do an actual measurement of the top of the ledge to the ceiling okay top of the ledge the ledge being the window ledge i imagine so window ledge to top of ceiling please Yeah, 63 uh, up there to the very top of the ceiling. Okay. And Bianca asks, how many outlets are, how many outlets are in the room? One, two, three, four, four. And when you say four, you mean there's two outlets per, per bundle, right? Yeah. So eight, is that right? Yes. Okay, so there's eight different outlets right here in this room that we see very yeah. quickly. Okay. Uh, Laura asked, how high can you lift the beds? I think we just went over that measurement. Hopefully that was helpful for you. That was about 56 inches. Uh, Brooke asked, is it easy to loft the beds ourselves? And yes, in this room it actually is. But uh, just for convenience, we recommend that you use our facilities mm -hmm. to do that for you. And they'll either get to it before you arrive or they'll get to it very quickly after you arrive on campus. Well, that was our question so far. Um, we're holding out for more right now. Uh, maybe you could tell me, uh, Jasmine, what you're most excited about this fall? Um, I'm definitely excited about um, meeting the girls, first of all. This is the first time I'll ever oversee um, a residence hall with all females. Um, and so I'm so excited about that. I'm excited to be a resource to you um, through by way of programming, by way of talking, just being here with you all to help y'all transition, to help y'all get through the new semester that is COVID-19. Um, and so just really being here for um, this new environment of people, like I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay. So we've had we've had three more questions come in, and these will be our last three that we'll address, and then and then afterward we will we'll as do our best to go back in if you leave questions to answer them. Um, Nicole asks, can you measure the the window ledge? Just to double check, it's twelve inches, not fourteen. Fourteen and three quarters is what you measured right there. Okay. Okay. Fourteen and three quarters. Okay. That's what we have. Um, and ask how deep are the desk drawers? And we can measure the depth of the desk drawers. So the ones on the side, I think it's maybe 18 and a half. Three and one fourth. Three and one fourth is that one, okay. And then the one Sorry, on three and a quarter, you said? Mm -hmm. Yes. Two inches right there. And then there's one down, oh, down below there. Uh, 
10 inches. Okay, just a couple quick ones then and we'll, we'll sign off. Um, Tracy says, can you measure the distance on the desk between the top of the desk and the shelf? Twenty inches right there. Okay. And then well this will be our last one. Laureen asks, are the dorm room dimensions from inside wall to the glass of the window or the window ledge? So I think we're talking about the entire room dimensions, mm -hmm. maybe. And the question is the ones we list probably on the website, are they from the inside wall to the glass of the window or the window ledge? I see. So if you uh, that measurement there. Can you um, can we measure this dimension right here mm -hmm. on the floor? Yeah, up to the up to the uh, ledge. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, it doesn't go that far. It doesn't. Mm -mm. Okay, how close can we get? Because we can add. Why don't you pull that one to the edge there, or the last measurement it offers, maybe? Uh, it's like. 144 right here. 144? Okay, and then we're adding another. We'll just have to guesstimate. Yeah. Do you need more that way? Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. That's okay. And I can do it from right here. Is that another foot? Oh, go back out one more time. 144. Uh, 13 inches added to that. Okay. You, so, wanna let, you can let it back in. So 144 plus 13. So it's about 13 feet. That's to the ledge, right? Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's like 23 inches at it. Yeah. So what was the total? I'm sorry. 144 plus 23. That's seven. 167. 157 from the... 167. Sorry, 167. 167 from the door to the window ledge. And we measured the ledge earlier. So if you want to go back and look... You can add that on and know kind of how much it is to the glass of the window. Um, I'm curious now when we look at the sheet, which one do we which one are we giving? Do you have one enough? Okay, okay. Well, new measurement. Great. <laughs> Our pleasure. Hopefully that was uh, helpful for you and your planning and everything like that. And it is a Friday afternoon here in Fayetteville, and we're super excited to have you come. Yes. And you've gotten to meet uh, Jazz here. Yes. Um, anything, anything else you want to say? Um, Y'all have a good summer. Be prepared for new experiences. Come with an open mind and an open spirit um, to have a really good time um, to build community, um, not only in our residence hall, but just with the Fayetteville family in, in general. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>